Hey, what is up guys? In this video I will explain what pointers are, why they are useful and how a pointer search works. This knowledge is universally applicable and not specific to a certain game or system. A pointer is a memory address that contains a value that looks like another memory address. The value basically is within the range of valid memory addresses. You might wonder, what if it isn't a pointer but actually a regular value that by coincidence lies within valid memory bounds? Well, you're not able to tell which of both cases is true. All you know is that you're looking at a potential pointer. So why are we interested in memory pointers when we are making cheat codes for video games? Well, some data in memory does not have a fixed location. It happens in a lot of games when you change the level, track, room or whatever. This is because data is loaded dynamically at different locations. The way this problem can be solved is by finding a pointer that always points to our data section. It works because the base address of a valid pointer stays the same, but its value changes accordingly to always point to the correct data section. Note that even the base areas of a pointer could change. In such cases a pointer in pointer needs to be found. And if that is not enough we need to keep going and find a pointer in pointer in pointer. In reality no more than a pointer in pointer should be required for most cases. Usually a pointer does not directly point to the address we are interested in but to the start of the data section that contains our address. If we follow the pointer we therefore also need to move downwards a little bit to actually reach the right address. This is done via offsets. It should also become clear now as well why negative offsets barely make sense and why very big offsets are too inaccurate. Very big offsets could surpass different data sections which may end up being loaded somewhere else in memory. We want very small offsets for best reliability. Now let's discuss how it is possible to find pointers. This task is supposed to be programmed and executed by a computer and not be performed by a human. The way you would start a pointer search is by reading in two or more memory dumps that capture the entire memory each and include two different locations of the same data sections like discussed before. Next. The program needs to look at every single 32-bit value in the first memory dump one by one. If the current address is not a possible pointer, move on to the next address. In case it is a possible pointer, subtract the pointer value from the address you want to reach. The result is the so-called pointer offset. Do the same calculation at the same address in the second memory dump. Do you understand why the pointer offsets must be equal? Since the offsets in each data section remain the same, so will your pointer offsets because you want to find a pointer related to that specific data section. For all remaining memory dumps, all you need to do is verify if the pointer value at the base address plus the calculated offset is equal to the target address. If you manage to find a result fulfilling all of those conditions, it is possibly a functional pointer that can be used to find that specific data section every time. The more instances it is verified on, the more likely it is going to be reliable. Using pointers pretty much is how games know where things are located at, but finding them in a reverse way is slightly more complicated and error prone. If you have any further questions about this, feel free to post a comment below. Thanks for watching and as always, like, comment and subscribe.